drift it. There we go. That's a lot of car. Oh my god. Oh. Welcome to Haggerty's Rated, the review show where we put a journalist and a race car driver into the same car to get their different points of view. At the end, we score the cars based on how they drive, how they feel, and how we think they'll age. Today, the Ferrari F8 Tributo gets rated. Today, myself and Lee Keener are going to be driving this Ferrari F8 Tributo around. I'm going to tell you what I think of the car in terms of where it lands in the automotive space. Lee's going to strap on a helmet and tell you what he really thinks about how it handles and performs on this track. And at the end of it all, we're going to give you a score. So the F8 Tributo is the latest in a long line of mid-engine V8 Ferraris. But what makes this one different is this might be the last one, because it's rumored that the next mid-engine, quote, entry-level Ferrari is going to have a V6 hybrid powertrain. What this is, is basically the soft, comfortable, approachable road manners of the 488 GTB with the engine of the Friday Pista. So now you have an entry-level road car with 710 horsepower and 568 foot-pounds of torque. It's expensive. This, this one, with all the options with carbon everything and nose lift, is $358,000. And that is a ton of money for what is referred to as an entry-level car. But, when you consider that it is about as fast as the top, top tier hypercars from 10 years ago, that's pretty insane. Because those cost a million, two million dollars. So by that kind of uh, diluted math, this is a bargain. Ferraris have been known for the engine response of their NA engines. When you add turbos to things, it can slow response down a little bit. You have to wait for that boost to hit. That is the case, but they have done a really, really good job of making a broad power band. I mean, as soon as I dip my foot into the gas, I can feel a surge forward. I can hear a little turbo whistle behind me. Oh, oh, oh my God. The torque is just crazy. Just, it clicks off tens of miles per hour, like faster than the digital gauge can read. So speaking of gauge, let's talk about the interior a little bit. Incredibly driver oriented. So driver oriented, it's almost as if it doesn't want the passenger to be here. It's like, it's like your friend invited you over uh, to watch TV, but then he just has a small TV that he watches on his own and you have to stare at the wall. Steering is light, like most Ferrari are. The view out the back is a little blurry because the rear window is Lexan and it has some cuts in it that kind of distort the world. You know, make you feel like you're wearing the wrong pair of glasses. Downsides, it's a little quiet. I mean, there's a little more noise in here than you're hearing on the outside because they pipe some of it in through a, what they call a hot pipe. There's a little tube connected to one of the turbos. To me, Ferraris need to be so loud that they're screaming to the heavens and dissipating the clouds. The turbos quiet that down a little bit. The whole car is just a little bit too quiet. It's even quieter than the 488 GTB. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty amazing. This dashboard all looks really awesome. Carbon fiber is really nice. Build quality is exceptional. And uh, you know, you can drive it every day. You hit the bumpy road button, the bag ride softens everything up and you can drive along the road and feel like you're in any other comfortable car. But the limits of this car far exceed my abilities. So I'm gonna hand it over to Lee. He's gonna put a helmet on and we're gonna see what he can do. All right, get the key. I have the key receptacle. Oh, nice sweatshirt, okay, okay. How'd Let's represent? See. Oh, you gotta represent. I'm very Is curious. Is it all right? It's insane. I like insane. Yeah, it's insane. It's it's right up your alley. TC all? Yeah, of course. Getting the tires up to temperature a little bit more. Cars like this, tire temperature is everything. Now we're gonna go full off. <laughs> Getting more intense now. I 
think a bigger front tire would really help, especially in the braking. Really easy to manage the power there. Power oversteer, third gear. I love the diff right here. As soon as I pick up a throttle, that diff starts working. Give it some more, it just rotates right around. It's just got to be really tough to be a uh, chassis management guy at the factory, and then your engine guy is giving you 700 horsepower. It's a lot of car. <laughs> it's a lot of car. Drift it. There we go. <laughs> Easy. Time to go see that. All right, now it's time for us to rate the Ferrari F8 Tributo. I've driven it, professional driver Lee Keen has driven it, but neither of us have looked at each other's scores. So let's figure out what we've done. Lee, handling and feel, I gave it an eight. Well, it looks like we're on the same page all right. of that. I'm like a race car driver now, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, it handles really good. It has a lot of power, but it's able to control it the best it can. They've worked very hard on the chassis and the shocks and everything, and it goes around the corner very fast. And it rides great when you put it in bumpy mode. You can go down bumpy the mode's great. It's great. For the curbs. Uh, approachability. I gave it an eight because it's so fast and I didn't crash into a mountain, but I also kind of wanted to give it a one because it's so fast like, you need to really be aware of what you're driving if you buy it or drive this car. Yeah, you gave it an 8 because you didn't crash it, so that's the, the score. I gave it a 6. I think it's right around there, 5. It is, I think it's very intimidating before you drive it, uh, looking at the numbers. But when you hop in and you drive it, you, you feel that, um, you know, it, it stays up underneath you. Sound, inside the car sounds much better than outside the car. I gave it a 4 because Mid-engine Ferrari V8s have always sounded amazing, and that's a huge selling point for them and why we love them. And outside the car, it just doesn't have it. Yeah, it is a bit quiet outside the car, but it is a Ferrari V8 screaming at 8,000 RPM, so... I would say talking, not screaming. Well, it's uh, screaming through a can with it on a string. Interior and technology, uh, I think it looks, looks pretty slick. You can control everything really easily within reach. Carbon fiber looks really nice, quality looks good. Um, and the seats are not that comfortable, and the Lexan window in the back kind of distorts the world a little bit. Yeah, I'm at five with interior and sound. Doesn't have AC seats, so that's automatic two points off. I thought the dash was really clear, and I really like the, the analog tack still. It's really bare bones, though, when you look at it. I think we have, we have very differing opinions on what to expect in a car <laughs> like this. Um, the look back, I gave it a seven. I don't think it's the prettiest thing they've made, but I think it's pretty awesome looking. And if you were 12 to 25 when you first saw this, you'll remember it forever. I'm at eight, a little bit higher than you. It's a mid-engine Ferrari. It looks insane. If you own the car, if you drive the car, you're gonna look back. Timelessness. I wrestle with this a bit, but I think it's, the, it's probably the last mid-engine V8 Ferrari uh, it's fast as hell. It's brought the speed of the Enzo and all those other cars down to a cheaper price point, even though it's not cheap. And I think that that's a big deal. You know, for a swan song, it's pretty impressive. I'm right with you. I'm at a nine. You know, 20 years from now, people are going to love this. Is going to be a very raw driver's car, and people are going to love them. I think the interior is going to age very well. I think the exterior is going to age very well. And from the driver's seat. Um, this is going to be a great machine to get behind the wheel. Yes, you win by one, so you can take it home. <laughs> it's almost like I saw your board and just kind of did one more. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey. We're, we're not supposed to see each other. What did you say about sound? You're not supposed to see my board so that you can't cheat to take it home later. Sorry. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. 